Hi, everyone. I'm Irina. I'm a PhD student in data science at the Center for Data Science in NYU, and I'm advised by Kyle Kramer. Before getting into a demo, I'll give you some context about it. This demo is based on a previous demo, which you can see the link in here. And that tutorial runs on a local computer. But if you want to scale up the pipeline, run some serious research, then you probably want to use uh, a cluster to send the jobs. Besides that, uh, this Manmania tutorial involves uh, several different steps with different software dependencies. There's event generation with MathGraph, there's detector simulation with Delphes, there's training machine learning models with PyTorch, there's evaluating the training models and the plottings. So in order to streamline this and make it easy for the user to use this tool, we've integrated MathMiner into the Rihanna workflow system. And here in this link, you can see the updated version of the tutorial with this Rihanna integration. How are we, uh, how we did this? Well, we defined a workflow using Jadat workflow language around the tutorial. And if you want more information, you can go to the repository. So now let's get started and I will leave you with the demo. Hi everyone, this is a demo about how to deploy MadMiner, a MadMiner workflow on a Rihanna remote cluster. I am using a Rihanna cluster hosted at BNL, a Brookhaven National Lab. If you need more information about MadMiner, Rihanna, or the actual workflow that we coded, Sinclair and I, just go to the documentation links. To start working, on uh, this deployment. Uh, first, I'm starting on my local laptop. Here you can see my terminal, and I'm going to log in into uh, BNL. Like that. And here I get a bastion, and I need this is a bastion, so I need to log in into my actual working space. Well, um, if you're working on BNL, then you have to do the same thing that I'm doing. But if you aren't, if you're wor working in another Rihanna instance cluster, then you just have to log in into your working space, whatever it, whatever it is that you are working in. So that's what I'm doing in here. Okay, so now I'm in my regular working, working space in the remote cluster in BNL. This is my home directory. Perfect. So I already, I have already installed a Rihanna client. So if you see, you see that I already installed Rihanna. And then if you haven't, then just go ahead and PIP install it on a virtual M if you want. Okay. So uh, to get started, I'm going to First of all, I need the um, password, which your admin should uh, give to you. And then I need to set the URL of the cluster I'm using. Okay, perfect. to check if the connection is healthy and established, just ping. And then you should see um, an output like this one. Okay, so we are all set. We just need to set the username, uh, the, sorry, the password and the URL and check the connection. And now we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna remove my, um, my repo, the, the, the local clone that I have here, and I'm going to start fresh so that you can all see how is it done. Okay. So now I've cloned the repository where we host our MadMiner workflow using Yadach. I'm gonna enter this repository and this is the contents of it. 
Now, I just need to tell Rihanna that I want to work on um, a working space called MadMaya workflow. So the particular analysis that I want to work on. And then in this case, uh, we've wrapped up all of the Rihanna client commands into a make file, this make file here. So, in a, um, so we only need to uh, call that command inside the make file. In a normal scenario where this wasn't, where you're not running um, a workflow as complex as the one that we are running, you can just uh, go to the documentation on Rihanna and then code, type, type in there all of the instructions that they give you. For instance, you first would have to create a workflow. So you would do Rihanna client create minus W with the name of the workflow. And then Rihanna client run, Rihanna client start, etc. All of those commands. But we've summarized all of those commands to get started with the workflow in this uh, make file. And we've called it Rihanna run. Okay. So you should see an output that looks like this one. And now we need to wait until the workflow finishes. And if we want to monitor the status of the workflow, then we just have to go to our local host. At the beginning, we SSH into BNL using a tunnel. And now we are going to check our local tab to see how the workflow is doing. So hopefully here you can see my local browser. And now I'm going to go to this direction, this URL. And here you can see the workflow that I just started in this demo. It's number seven of this type and it's currently running. So if you click inside here, you're going to see in real time how is that doing. Um, now it's in the first state called configurate. The first step is successful. That's why you see here a uh, green dot and now it's in the second step stage okay so we just have to wait here in workspace we see all of the files that this pipeline is using the input files the intermediate files and the output files so each of these files you can actually click on it and uh, download directly from the from the um, visualization and then here you have the specification. This is very important in case you want to run several times the pipeline with different parameters or different inputs so that you can keep track of what a specification gave you which results. Let's see what's the situation of this. It's gonna take a while because it's a heavy complex pipeline. You can keep refreshing. You can see here all of the history of the workflows that you've run and their status. This is your user tab actually. So you can see your profile. Um, here would be the token. Let's go back and see how is this doing. Okay, so the generation is done. We can check the logs. Here, typically, if something fails, then you would start, you would see this as failing and in red, and you could see what's the reason for failing. You can debug easily if you uh, check these logs tab. Let's wait more. Five minutes later. Okay. So finally our workflow is finished and now we can actually see the results. Here you can see all of the steps were completed successfully. It's a very, it's a complex pipeline as you can see. Now let's go and then this is the logs for the first step. But for instance, if you go to the logs of the last step, 
So you're going to see what's the output of MadMiner when plotting, blah, blah, blah. So you could debug as well. And now let's go to the workspace and download some of the plots. So here, this is a complex pipeline and there are many intermediate files and folders in here, which we are not necessarily interested in if the workflow was successful. So we are going to find the interesting things, the plots, no? For instance, here I have, um, if you could see it with more zoom, well, this is the um, diagram depicting the workflow. You can download it and see it for yourself. Let's go to find another file that has a PNG type at the end, so that, that's a plot. Okay, surface, we need to go further. We need to go to the plotting stage. Uh, here, for instance, you can see that this is the ML, ML part of the workflow, plotting step, folder plots, and then all methods. Let me just expand this tab. All methods, so, and we can see it in here directly on our local tab. And then of course we can download it. Save file, you could download it in here. All right, more plots, for instance, we can see these plots. And this plot, and all of the intermediate files. So that's it. You can go ahead, do the demo, and play around with these uh, files and outputs. All right. Uh, now, for instance, uh, let's suppose let's suppose that you want to rerun the MatMiner workflow, but using a different input. You want to change the number of parameters or you want to use another type of method or you want to compare two specific methods how would you do that well we would just go to the terminal in here and we would change the input point yaml file and that input file is located in Here, for instance, uh, the ML side, the ML side would have this input YAML. Let me see the content. Here, so uh, you would go on and change this with your favorite uh, editor. Change whatever you need. Save the changes. And the same thing for the physics side of the of the workflow. You would save the changes and then just to make Rihanna run again and then you will see another workflow in your local browser probably not numbered eight and then you can compare the outputs by checking the specification tab and checking the workspace to compare the outputs of both specifications so that's it thank you for your interest in mind in this mind workflow bye